necessities, the simple bare necessities, put away all worries and your strife. Oh, the bare necessities, Mother Nature's recipes, the bare necessities of life. So last year at this time, my grandfather had been admitted to hospice. It was a whiteout blizzard and we were just getting back from the cabin. Luckily this year, none of my family members decided that they wanted to croak on me while we were <laughs> vacationing at the ranch. So we just got back, 70 degrees. It was beautiful for a uh, early spring in Colorado. Usually like every year we have snow right now. And today we have sun, a little bit of clouds, warm skies, and uh, a little bit of wind. So, story time. Um, I had done this vlog a long, 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 long time ago. It was a couple of years ago when I first started out vlogging. And uh, unfortunately, it was one of those vlogs where I had um, used the my original intro, which had a song from, um, God, their name is skipping my mind right now. Fall Out Boy, a song from Fall Out, no, not Fall Out Boy, freaking Lincoln Park, Lincoln Park. So I had to delete it because um, I lost copyright. It was copyrighted, so I mean, I, I was allowed to have the video, but I just, I don't like having copyrighted stuff on my channel. Not, I don't make money off my stuff. Just letting you guys know, I don't make money off of this. I don't have an AdSense hooked up. So, but, uh, yeah, let's get this story started. Um, for those of you who have not watched my other story videos, uh, family owns a place or kind of owns a place down in Belize. Um, it's like a rental place now. We, like, we still own it, but we rent it out. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> When I was in high school, we took a trip down there. Um, this was uh, freshman year, so the summer, right after freshman year in high school. Took a buddy of mine, um, Austin. He had never been out of the country, I don't think. Um, that was his first time. Bit of a culture shock going to a third world country like that from uh, what we have so amazing here in the United States, compared to down there. <laughs> and so we spent a few days down in uh, the island where the house is at, and then eventually uh, we made our way to the mainland because uh, we had met some people at a party and they own a, um, like a resort kind of a thing. It's like a little private resort. Uh, on the mainland, like way into the heart of Belize. I forget where exactly. My apologies on that one. But the place is completely off grid. And when I say that, like their energy for the entire place, which isn't very big, but the, their energy comes out of a generator. And they're like smack right, smack dab right into the middle of this forest. Uh, right on top of a river, actually which is where the story is going to get to. Um, so we did our excursion uh, to the cave, which was the, the battery uh, video. Um, you guys go check it out. I think it's like death by battery or death by car battery. It was what I named it. And the day after that, we decided that um, we wanted to rent some canoes from the resort. So we rented two canoes, nice Jeeps, loving them. Uh, rented two canoes, and then they loaded them up onto the back of a little Toyota truck, and then we rode in a Ranger crew, and we went for a good, uh, I'm gonna say a 30 minute drive, maybe 35, 40 minute drive, between 30 and 40 minutes. Uh, through the jungle, up this river, <laughs> and then we get out, this massive opening of the river, like this like area. So we take the canoes out of, out of the back of the truck and we put them in the water 
and off we go. They, the people who took us there kind of just left us alone. They were the owners. It was the, uh, the husband, it's the husband and wife, the husband and his workers were the ones that took us. Left us, we started paddling away. Now, the best way to describe this event, um, I wanna see if I can get some photos. I think I have some photos somewhere. So go check out my Instagram. Um, so you guys can see this, but if I don't find any photos and you don't see my Instagram or you're just too lazy to go look at my Instagram, um, if you've ever seen Deliverance, this is kind of what Deliverance would, <laughs> would look like in a jungle. Um, like a the, the tropical jungle. Nice job for cutting across traffic. Jesus, did you see that? You like got in the right lane, went through the middle lane, into the left lane. Damn, people. Anywho, <laughs> so we're going paddling through and the river gets very calm and we are just barely moving. And the water is so calm that like there's literally like no ripples or anything. It's like glass smooth. <laughs> so we're going through and all of a sudden the water gets a little uh, faster. The current keeps picking up and picking up and then we soon realize that we're actually losing uh, water level. We're getting quite close to the riverbed. And so we took note of this and we're like, hey, it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna be fine. Let's get in the other lane. So we keep going through and all of a sudden we find ourselves in some rocks. So it was, I was steering the front, Austin was in the back and then my parents were in their own canoe. And what what was that for? It's not even. F oh my. Okay. Oh. Um. Ooh. I'm like a squirrel right now, being distracted. That's really that's why. Um. So we're going through. We get to the first rock area. Perfectly fine. We get to the second rock area. Perfectly fine. We get to the third one, and the water. It, there's there, there's like almost zero water. I mean, there's pretty pretty good current though in some areas. So what we chose was the currency areas. So we figured it might as well stay in fast water than having to crawl across rocks. Well, this was a mistake because that's not the route my parents took. My, route, my parents took a route that went straight through the rocks and they turned out perfectly fine. What do we do? No, <laughs> we choose the place that looks easiest and we get fucked in the ass. So we're going through and we hit this massive rock. It's about this big. Oh shit, speed wobble. And um, that was scary. This massive rock. And all of a sudden our front end starts to shift. And then all of a sudden I realize that we are now sideways, being pushed down this little stream. And then we get hit by another freaking rock. Or we, we hit the rock, but the heart rock didn't hit us. But we hit the rock. And the current was started getting so strong in our, in our little area that we chose. Pushed the freaking canoe over and flipped us out. Austin goes flying out, doesn't know what's going on. I go flying out, I don't know what the hell is going on. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> the canoe goes, starts going downstream without us. So we start running across these rivers. We're both slipping and falling, trying to get our bearings because we don't know what's going on yet because it hasn't like fully clicked in our mind. I finally realized like, what needs to happen. So I go over and try grabbing the canoe. But at this point, the water has now gone from about three inches deep to about four feet deep. Austin gets panicky, fucking jumps onto the canoe, and it starts sinking while I'm trying to pick it up, while we're going down the river. <laughs> so he's uh, he, he's jumped on, holding on to dear life. <laughs> we keep going down, and all of a sudden, I've gone from touching the bottom of the river to no bottom. Like, it's gone so deep that I cannot feel anything. And now, I've lost my footing because what happens is that I was using my leverage of the legs to push the canoe up. Because it's upside down and suction cupped. So... <laughs> Keeps going down, keeps going down. I yell Austin trying to get him off. He's not listening. He's being an ass because he's trying to figure out what's going on still. And my parents are yelling at us. My parents are laughing at us at the same time. 
get to this turn. <laughs> All of a sudden, like, it really starts getting submerged underwater. Whoa, are you okay there, bud? About ran into the sign. We finally get it pushed over to the, uh, like, a little sandbank area where my parents pulled off. Able to finally get the canoe to the surface and then unsuction, cu unsuction cup it. Um, we had to take a moment of silence. Uh, rest in peace, my right foot uh, shoe. I lost my shoe. It was a crock. And um, we basically have now said that it was sacrificed to the Mayan gods. So we hope that we have pleased the gods by sacrificing my shoe. And we also sacrificed Austin's camera. It was in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> But it wasn't sealed completely or something happened and like maybe like when it hit a rock it broke the bag open but it was drenched and no longer functioning. Huh. So we finally get back to the uh, to the resort. There's like a little like bank area. A little like river sand rocky bank. We pull over, they pick, the workers there pick up our canoes and we go through our rooms, take showers, <laughs> and eat food and just pass out on our beds. Uh, we were done. We, we had had enough joy for the day. So let's say uh, my poor friend was uh, a little, he had gotten pretty tired of police at that point. <laughs> We eventually uh, got done with our trip. I think that was like the, I think the next day after that is when we left. And uh, we went back to the island, spent a couple more days there relaxing, going snorkeling over at a marine reserve. Uh, really good friends our with our neighbors because they are, uh, it's a dive shop. And I did my open water certification with them. So they gave us a private uh, boat ride out to um, out to an area. I don't want to say the area because I don't want to mention it and all that for privacy reasons. But we went to like a certain special area, and yeah. So bottom line that we learned was is that careful when you're canoeing in a third world country in a forest, in a rocky bed, because you could flip and lose your canoe, and your shoe, and your camera. He got the camera back, by the way, if you guys are wondering. He got the camera back, but it it was it was fried. It wasn't. I don't think he ever really got it working fully again. Like, he got it dried out, but uh, and it will turn on, but I don't think it'll ever work again, is what he said. So yeah, that's another uh, quick story time. <laughs> Oh, so many that have happened down there. We plan, or we were planning on going this next summer to visit. This has been a couple years, but sister's pregnant and having a child, and we all agree that we would rather not be down there with a newborn because she would be born, or no, he, sorry, not she, he. He is due uh, May 12th or something like that is when my sister has her scheduled C-section. Um, and honestly, I don't feel like traveling into a foreign country with a baby. That would not be fun. No! I hate red lights. Can I go? 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 I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Throttle control. <laughs> Anywho. Sorry, I didn't realize that you were peace signing at me. I feel bad now. Anywho, uh, yeah, so if you like my story time, um, I want to see if I can remember, like, remember, like, fully some other events that are appropriate to share on YouTube. Um, some stories should not uh, ever be left out of the mind. It's one of those things like what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, what happens in Belize stays in Belize. <laughs> so I'll try to give him some more. Wow. 
You know, that's ballsy for a Kia. So, like this video if you like it. If you dislike the video, please let me know in the comments below of uh, what I can do better to improve on your entertainment quality. And if you have any uh, recommendations for a video that you guys want to see, um, I've had a couple subscribers comment wanting to see certain videos. I have a gear, like a motorcycle gear video coming out. I need to do it. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any ideas, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be happy to do it for you. And if you're not yet done so, please subscribe. It would be awesome. You don't have to, but it would be awesome. And I will see you guys later, assuming I don't die in traffic today.